I really like the emotion she's bringing to the table. Whoa. Dazzling. Hi guys, it's Alexi. Welcome back to week six of Dancing with the Stars. Um, I just watched them all and this was a night of tears um, of so many kinds. So brace yourself for that. Emotions all over the place. Also lots of really good performances. So let's take a look. Okay, Allie Brooke and Sasha with a quick step. I love the starting staging. That's super fun. Mm -hmm. Very cute. Mm -hmm. Her arms were a little haphazard there. It's cute. She's just slightly off on the timing. Nice. How cute is that? <laughs> Good body connection. Mm hmm Yeah. They're pretty darn in sync with each other, which is great. Good body contact again. It's not the easiest thing to maintain. Nice shaping. Very light on the feet. I can't tell just because my video is buffering a little. I was trying to see if she was taking like the proper heel lead on her forward steps, but... Um, okay, so they kind of lost their close connection there a bit. Oh, that was very cute. Nice. Very nice. Good. She's doing a really nice job of keeping her top line smooth while being very, very active with the lower feet. That's very fun. That's, I like the square and the circle. That's really cute. Mm -hmm. Impressive amount of footwork in this routine. Yeah, good. I really liked that. I thought that was good and I thought it showed a lot of technical improvement. Um, again, and this is just because for some reason my internet, just like at this particular moment, is not buffering quite as smoothly as normal. I kind of wanted to see if on those forward steps whether she was taking a heel lead and I just couldn't quite see because it was just a little bit fuzzy. But all of her like feet during all of those kicks looked very light and smooth and deliberate and there were a couple moments where she was just like half a breath behind sasha a little bit towards the beginning um actually pretty much just just around the beginning and then after that it became uh very in sync so um yeah that was very impressive also just like super super fun i loved the uh staging and i loved how how much they did with the feet. Uh, so there were a lot of potential things to mess up and I felt like it was overall quite clean. Scores for Allie. Eight from Carrie. Nine from Len. <laughs> little um, mixing it up a little bit. Yeah, because Bruno and Carrie Ann saw what I saw, that there were um, moments where it did go out of sync. Again, I'd have to watch it again to see if any happened later. I definitely saw it at the beginning. Yeah, so I think that's the reason for the eights from them. Len didn't see that, so he gave them a nine. But all in all, really excellent performance. And I know I was talking with some of you guys in the comments on uh, one of the videos about how the technical aspect was really what you needed to work on. And I felt like this was on several levels a market improvement. Also, one thing the judges mentioned, which I liked, was that they mentioned that her her hand on his arm was very like light and lifted and what you'll often see with the ladies in the competition is that they're kind of like clinging to their partner and they look kind of heavy and it and it also looks like they're kind of holding on for dear life <laughs> and um and it's not it's not a super obvious thing but you can see it if you know what to look for and um she was more responsible for her own frame and it didn't look like she was getting dragged through the routine um, which is, that's a really good thing. Because it's easy as a follower to kind of rely on your partner a little too much, especially if they're a pro and they're really, really good. And you can kind of get away with doing that in a way you would not be able to if you were dancing with someone of a similar skill level to your own. Um, so it's really nice to see from Allie that um, she has some control and um, that that's something that Sasha is working with her on. Kate Flannery and Pasha. 
Vini's Waltz? This might be a bit of a challenge for her, but I'm really eager to see. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Her posture could be a little more lifted, but I think this is some of the most... Um, but it is more graceful uh, than I've seen from her before. My goodness, that is a beautiful dress. <laughs> Ooh, good job. I'd like to see her... I'd like to tweak her frame a little bit, but it's not bad. The feet are pretty smooth. Mm-hmm. Good. Expressive. It is a little... I'd like to see a little more smoothness with her styling. Just a little more... Maybe they're adding a little bit of punctuation because of the music. Um, but it shouldn't be too sharp. It should still feel flowing. I really like the emotion she's bringing to the table. It's much, um, it's much smoother and more graceful um, than I've seen from her so far. Nice. Okay. Yeah. So, so I saw a lot of improvement there for her. Okay. She has done the best so far on the dances that have been a little more like quirky, fun, playful, and, um, it kind of suits her, her energy. Right. But it's a little harder for her to be really, really graceful. And, this i thought was more graceful now there were some issues with the frame which i think again the frame is just a work in progress right it's that's something that takes time to build effectively so it's not that i'm saying she has a terrible frame and actually i do see improvement with it that having been said you want there to be this um kind of curvature uh, to the shape. Basically, we call it like going over like the high bar um, where you're very connected to your partner. And then just at the very top, there's this little stretch over um, this invisible bar in the back. So you get this, this little slight like arch to the back. And I didn't really see that. And so it didn't look as good as it could have otherwise. I thought that they did a great selection of steps. I thought that many of the steps were quite um, quite difficult, more challenging steps to do. And um, so full credit to Kate with that. Like it wasn't an easy routine at all. You know how I'm always saying that was kind of a simple routine? Like that wasn't that simple of a routine. Um, and so I give her like extra credit on that point. Again, I guess for me, the I just thought there were moments where it just felt a little clunky and it like it didn't quite flow um and that jarred me a little bit what other than that oh yeah and the other thing is just it's just the posture i just want to see more lifted it's just a little bit more um more shape a little bit more more grace um with the body shaping but um really all in all a very solid um, performance and huge amounts of improvement from week to week. Um, and again, I do think it's a little harder for her to channel that very, very like graceful energy. And she had some moments in there where I was, um, I was very impressed by how much of that she added in. Also, again, as usual, the amount of emotion in it was great. So full credit to Kate. I don't mean to be critical. I just thought that, um, those were the things that I would focus on in order to improve for the next time she does a more um, romantic, like graceful kind of dance. Okay, I just have to point out that um, apparently Kate actually suffers from vertigo and she had an episode of it this week. And because she's a badass, what she said in response to that was, there's no whining and dancing, <laughs> which I, I admire her attitude greatly. Um, but I wonder if that might tie in to some of the things that I saw where I thought 
it felt like a little bumpy. If she was having trouble stabilizing, that might be a um, contributing factor. So I'm just gonna throw that out there. <laughs> Scores for Kate. Carrie Ann, nine. Mm -hmm. Nine from Len. Nine. Okay, let's get ready for Cal Mitchell and Whitney doing our second quick step of the night. Dancing Whoa, with his partner dazzling. With the polka dots are so fun. Nice. Ooh, smooth. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Smooth feet. Okay. Nice. Mm hmm. He is lighter on his feet for sure. Mm hmm It doesn't feel as fast as the other uh, quick step. There we go, okay. Mm hmm I think it did a nice little turn there. Mm hmm Nice kicks. <laughs> I like his expressiveness too. Mm hmm Very in sync in that section. Very fun. Nice. Charleston. It's often quite possible to dance uh, Charleston to quick step. Cool. That was really good. I liked that a lot. There were times when I would have liked to have seen him take a little bit more of a heel lead on his forward steps, but all in all, his footwork was a lot smoother, a lot more technically accurate. The body contact wasn't perfect throughout. You could kind of see it kind of switched back and forth. At moments, they had great body contact. At other times, they lost it a little bit. Um, the I was quite impressed with the musicality of that. Um, they seemed very in sync, um, in sync with the music and each other. I thought his expressiveness was great. Overall, a lot of improvement with the way he was moving. There were a couple moments where his walks were a little too pedestrian, but not very many of them. Um, overall, I thought that was excellent and a lot of technical improvement. Also, what I'm enjoying so far this night is that all of the dances are getting more complex, which of course is more challenging, but they're able to handle a little more now. Um, so that's very satisfying to see. Yeah, so I think in terms of main points, that's what I would say. Excellent timing, um, footwork, not perfect, but greatly improved. Body contact, not perfect, but decent. Good expressiveness. Um, there are a couple moments where you can kind of tell he was concentrating really hard, but then he went back into like the fun sort of faces. Great energy, very fun on a performance level. Great, so Len got a little testy this week and made the pro Lindsay cry. So we're off to a good start tonight with that. <laughs> Scores. <laughs> Nine from Carrie Ann. Eight from Len. Mm -hmm. Nine from Bruno. Awesome. Good. All right, that was it for part one of tonight's Dancing with the Stars. Which of those three did you think was the best performance? Thanks so much for all of your comments, uh, your likes, your subscriptions. We're currently hovering at about 109 subscribers. So if you're watching and you're enjoying, make sure to hit that subscribe button and let's see if we can get up to 200. That's my next goal. Thanks so much for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye guys.